Okay, so let's graph uh, y equals 2 sine 1 fourth x. And since it's sine, we want to know what the amplitude is. And so the amplitude on this guy is the number in front. That's 2. We need to know the period for this guy. And the period for this guy is the number in front of x under 2 pi. which this is going to end up being 8 pi. And then we need an interval. And the interval is the part uh, of the graph that, that we use to, uh, for the x-coordinates to help us find our matching y's. And what we want to do is take the period and divide it by 4, which is going to be 8 pi divided by 4, which is 2 pi. And so <clears throat> when we graph this guy, we're looking at 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi, and 10 pi. So that's, that's our markers here. And then going the other way would be negative 2 pi going this way. Okay. Since my amplitude is 2, going up and down then, uh, I think we could we could call like this would be one, and this would be two. So this would be negative one, and this would be negative two. So I've got my graph ready to go, and to graph it, then all I'm going to do is create a table of points, just like you did back in the old days, uh, in algebra two, in algebra one, uh, in seventh grade, and we're just gonna we're gonna pick an interval of 2 pi. So we're going to start at 0, then we're going to go to 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, and then 8 pi. So what does y equal? y equals 2 sine of 1 fourth x. So what does that mean exactly? That means that y is equal to 2 times the sine of 1 fourth times 0. Well, 1 fourth times 0 is 0, and the sine of 0 is 0. So the actual y coordinate for this guy is going to be 0 down here, y equals 2 sine of 1 fourth times 2 pi. What does that equal? Well, it equals the sine of pi over 2. Okay, 1 fourth times 2 pi is pi over 2. Okay, 2 pi over 4 reduces to pi over 2. So what's the sign of pi over 2? It's 1. 1 times 2 is 2. And we just move through the rest of these points. And if your period is correct, and if you do the correct math on the inside, then you're going to wind up at places on your circle card that you know the sine and cosine for. And once you figure out what your pattern is, you can solve the rest of the of the puzzle. Fourth times six pi. And so if we do one fourth times six pi, that's six pi over four, or three pi over two. So three pi over two, negative two. And then back around. to 0. So when you graph your points then, at 0, we're at 0. At 2 pi, we're at 2. At 4 pi, we're at 0. At 6 pi, we're at negative 2. At 8 pi, we're at 0. And then continue the pattern. At 10 pi, we'd be back up here at 2. Going the other way, we should be able to fill in this guy. 
continuing our pattern and then you just connect them with a curve connect your points with a curve and there's your there is the curve of y equals 2 sine 1 fourth x okay okay so let's now let's graph the y equals negative 4 cotangent x one thing that we need to keep in mind is that when we're working with cotangent cotangent of x is going to be equal to y is not y over x it's the reciprocal of that cotangent x is going to be equal to x over y the other thing that we need to keep in mind is the period for the cotangent the period for the cotangent and tangent is pi so you know if somebody were to ask you on a test what the amplitude and the period and the interval should be then the amplitude there is none there is no amplitude on cotangent or tangent the period is going to be pi divided by the number right here in front of the x and so what number is in front of the x the number one so that would be pi and the interval is going to be the period divided by four which in this case is going to be pi over four and so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to old school create a uh, t-chart y equals negative 4 cotangent x so this would give us our y coordinate here all right so 0 pi over 4 2 pi over 4 3 pi over 4 and pi so y equals negative 4 cotangent of 0 okay now check this out so the cotangent at 0 that's going to be the x coordinate at 0 over the y coordinate at 0 well y coordinate at 0 is 0 we are undefined at pi over 4 negative 4 cotangent pi over 4 pi over 4 the x and y coordinates are the exact same thing so that will be 1 times negative 4 at pi over 2 negative 4 cotangent pi over 2 when you do this you're going to wind up with uh, 0 and again go to pi over 2 find the y coordinate over the x coordinate or the x coordinate over the y coordinate and at that point x coordinates 0 so that's going to be 0 y equals 4 cotan four cotangent three pi over four which is going to be negative one times the negative four positive four and then lastly y equals negative four cotangent of pi which is going to be undefined Okay, so we can plot all these points on our graph. Let's just scoot them all up just a little bit here. And when we do that, we're going to get uh, an asymptote at zero. So again, here's my my intervals would be pi over four, pi over two. 
3 pi over 4 pi uh, and then and then keep going so it would be 5 pi over 4 6 pi over 4 which would be 3 pi over 2 and these are all positive well I can also go negative pi over 4 so I can go this way as well okay and then um, you know if when I'm looking at my y coordinates I go up to 4 and down to negative 4 so you know we could go ahead and count this as this would be 1 2 three, four, and the same going down. So negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. And put our asymptotes in, and our asymptotes occur at zero and our asymptotes occur at pi. So there's the asymptotes. Well if it occurs at positive pi it also occurs at negative pi, so that would be, let's see, one, two, three, four, so one, uh, so right here, negative pi. All right, and then for the graph, uh, when I'm at pi over four, I'm at negative four. When I'm at pi over two, I'm at zero. And when I'm at three pi over four, I'm at positive four. So here's, here's what my graph is going to look like. It's kind of a curvy line right through here. So it's going to look just repeats itself. Curve. So there's your graph right there of negative cotan, negative 4 cotangent x.